de-escalate. No. De-escalate. De-escalate. Why are you pushing me? Thank you. What are you doing? You're assaulting me right now. Hey, welcome back to the channel, everyone. First Amendment shenanigans here. Well, today I'm going to be covering uh, two new frauditors uh, that I found in my dark searches of the internet. Uh, the first one is going to be called West Coast Patriot. He's about he's got about 45 videos, um, about half the size of my channel. Um, but most of his content is pretty disturbing. It's him uh, basically harassing women. And uh, today he's going to be harassing the people at a bank. So we're going to take a look at that in a second. But stay tuned to the end because I found a new frauditor. And there is some shocking new developments in the world of frauditing. New technology being deployed. So stick around to the end here. So without further ado, let's take a look. What's that? I said, can I help you? No, we're fine. Well, that's good. But I don't think that you should be recording the, the activities through the drive up at the bay. Well, I'm just taking pictures. I, I understand that. Yeah, that's all I'm doing. But there's a, there's a privacy piece to that. There's the people that are driving up to the bank, don't, they may not want their picture taken. Well, I, but we're in public here, and, and, and there's no expectation of privacy in public. That's not always true. In public, that is true. Well, I would say that not everybody feels that way. Well, you know, we're in America, so you know, <laughs> that's just the way it is. You know what, Frauditor? We are in America. And though filming in public is not illegal, what you're doing is not illegal. It's immoral, okay? It's wrong. And he's going to get called out on it later by another gentleman. But just to think that in America, people like this are allowed to roam free, prey on normal individuals just to make a few extra dollars on the internet. I mean, it, it's, it's mind-boggling how much our society has deteriorated to this point. And the worst thing is they don't even see it. Well, I think everybody has their own opinion, but... Well, you know, can you, opinions can you don't... Tell me, can you, know, you tell me why you're uh, happen to be recording the bank? Well, I'm just doing a story. And, uh, liar! No, you are a liar. No. I'm just taking some pictures, getting some B-roll film and uh -huh. stuff like that. But okay. uh, that's it. Okay. Can you tell me who you work for? I, I work for myself. Okay. So you just... Submit your publications to anybody? Well, I have uh, places that I I public pu you know publicize these things, but you know, and I don't know when it'll be published. In fact, I don't even know if it'll be published. It it, it all depends, you know. Sure. Yeah. Well, I mean, this is America, so why yeah. should be able to? Yeah. You heard it here first, folks. I'm going to spoil it for the world. There will be no story. There will never be anything published. These people don't even know the basic rules of journalism. To give raw data and turn that into a coherent, you know, news article would probably explode their brains. So the footage, his B-roll, will be posted to YouTube. And that's it. Just like all these other pathetic people. Thank you. I'm just taking pictures, man. Just taking pictures. Why, though? That's what I'm asking here. Why are you doing it outside of a bank, pointing your shit at people who are just trying to get their financial shit in line? I just take pictures everywhere. And, you know. and why is there an audio thing attached to your phone? Because that's part of a video, is audio. You just said it was pictures. Well, this is taking a whole bunch of pictures. That's what a video or a recording does. It takes a whole bunch of pictures. So you said pictures, then you said video. So it is a video that you were trying to mislead me by by calling it a picture. Look, this thing, what you know how a video works, how, how a recording I works? Do. I'm okay. asking why you're doing this and why you're recording random people. Uh, Ooh, I can answer that question. Like most frauditors, he probably has priors and a limited education. 
He can't really get employment outside of manual labor. And he noticed on YouTube, people can make money by bothering people. So he's decided to take his YouTube law strategy to the streets like most of these degenerates. Oh, I don't think I need to answer you. That's none of your business. The fact that I'm being recorded is my business. Well, you're out in public, so there is no expectation of privacy in public. So there's nothing you can do and about someone. Pointed at a bank, which is a financial institution, which, yeah. has, which has private information involved in it. Right. Your point. What you're doing is weird, scummy, and should not be done. Even though you have a legal right to do so, you have a moral right not to. You should not be doing this. Really. We're in America, man. I can do whatever the hell I want. As long as I don't break the law, I can do whatever I want. May I have your name? I might need to get in contact with my lawyer to make sure that there's no recording of me without my consent. Why would I give you my name? Give me your name. You're the one who's recording me. So? So, I might need to get in contact with my attorney to tell him that you, that you are doing this without my permission. Yep. Make sure you tell him that I was standing on a public street. I know it's a long shot, but if anyone knows this guy, get in contact with him. Get this video taken down. His face is being used illegally and monetized illegally without compensation. I don't care if my video gets taken down. I could care less. Okay, if one frauder's video gets taken down, that's a job well done on my part. What exactly is the point of you trying to do this? I'm just doing my job, what I do, you're the one coming up and bugging so, me so and messing this, with so me. So this you your know. job. This is what I do. You record people, whether betcha. they want you to or not. You betcha. What exactly is your problem, dude? I don't have a problem. I'm just a patriot out here practicing my First Amendment rights which everybody should do, because we're losing those rights, you know? Kick his ass, sea bass! Left and right, we're losing those rights. So, I, that's First what I Amendment do. First Amendment is about freedom of expression. What's that? It is about freedom of expression. What is? The First Amendment. There's five parts to the First Amendment. Do you know them? This is the problem with America if you don't know those. Dude... But you, shit. you don't know what they are. Do you? you don't know your rights. What's the third amendment to the Constitution? Do you know what that is? No being forced to hold. Uh, no being forced to hold soldiers in your home. What's that? You are not required to allow soldiers or government officials to live in your home. Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Oh, what's the matter, frauder? Did he ruin your moment? Let me tell you something. The Third Amendment has no bearing on our lives. If you know anything about the Constitution, the Third Amendment is put in there specifically because of the Quartering Act. And the Quartering Act has to do with the British government housing its soldiers in um, colonial homes at the time before things like military barracks existed. It has no bearing on our lives. They could easily take it out if they wanted to. They'd probably just leave it in there for ceremonial purposes and for frauders to use it. Okay. You do know that one. Now, the yeah. first one, the First Amendment, what are the five parts of it? The, the five freedoms that are granted to us by our creator that the government cannot Fuck tread off, on. Home, dude. <laughs> <laughs> no. <laughs> That's when you lose the argument. And tell your buddy to go home too. That's when you lose the argument when you do that. Now, I'm just not going to bother with this bullshit. Well, then leave. I'm not stopping you. Hello. How are you guys doing today? Good. So, uh, I'm sure you're recording. It's got to leave no recording as well. You betcha. I'll step over here. So What's your name and badge number? Officer Muir, badge number 909. Okay. So, hey, I'll just explain why I'm here. So, I got called saying uh, people are concerned that you guys are 
recording at the drive through of the bank, attempting to get people's like personal information as they go through the drive through Oh, I don't see how you do that. <laughs> that's that's what I got called here for. So I just figured I'd come talk to you guys and see what's going on. Yeah, we're, we're just out doing a story, sir. And, and okay. uh, you know, and we're just getting B-roll. I needed to have some people coming through the drive through I got somebody doing the ATM from the side where you can't see the numbers. Okay. You know, and stuff like that. So, you know. I'm always careful not to get pre people's personal information because I don't break the law, see. And, okay. and besides, even if I accidentally got it, I wouldn't break the law unless I actually used it for something illegal, you know. Okay. I mean, yeah. I, fair enough, I suppose. So it was just a suspicious conditions call? All right. What's the, what's the story of the bank for? Well, I can't get into it. Uh, you know, it compromised the story. Here's the part I don't get. They're so proud when they talk to their followers about... Uh, standing up for the First Amendment and blah, 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 all that nonsense. But when they're confronted, they always come up with the same lie. Oh, I can't compromise my story at this time. Just tell the cop what you're doing. Listen, I get people's reactions when I'm filming. I put it on YouTube. People find it interesting. Done. It's the same result. He still can't stop you from doing it. Yet, you don't have to lie about it. You know why you lie? Because you're embarrassed. You should be. You're embarrassed that this is what you choose to do with your time. It's pathetic. Uh, I, I'm just doing a story that has some things in it that I don't want to get out yet. Okay. You could compromise about itself. the bank, or yeah. is it just like public well, stuff? It's, it's all sorts of different things. I mean, okay. We had, we were doing some stories earlier at, at uh, different government buildings, and then we had some things about this bank that we that were concerned. That okay. we've been told about. So we're just we're just getting pictures B-roll right now. The rest of the story comes when we do it surreptitiously. That's up for I guarantee that guy's still a virgin. Surreptitiously. Yep. Okay. So, you know, that would be the next one. Okay. So, I mean, like, as long as... So I see you guys are not on the private property. Right. So that's fine. So as long as... I don't see how you would be able to maybe get people's personal info... Especially if you're here at the side view of the ATM. Yeah. I guess one person called it in saying they were concerned that you were attempting to get personal info and stuff like that of recording people at the ATM and whatnot. People kind so, of freak out about cameras. You know, back in the day, there's, there's another guy that does stuff like us. That, right. And, and he says, you know, back in the day, when you build a camera out, people would jump in front of it and say, Hi, Mom! Right. Today, they run and hide and get scared. <laughs> you know, I don't know. Okay. we gotta, we got to change that, you know? Right. We really do. Okay. Yeah, no, I mean, you guys can record wherever because uh, you're in public view, so you guys are fine recording. Yeah, if you just go in there and let them know so that if somebody else comes to record that they don't freak out and bother you and, and waste your time with someone out here doing you, a constitution. You want me to tell the bank? Yeah, tell them, you know, so that the, the what bank, we're doing is the, legal. The bank isn't who called. Oh, it isn't? Oh, no, okay. it, was, it was a passerby, I guess. Maybe they were one of the Oh, he's the guy were... that came up and confronted me. Okay. Oh, you guys talked to somebody already? Yeah, I thought he was going to okay. get a little hands-on <laughs> okay. there for a minute. I mean, but, if you, you know, if you guys have that issue, just give us a call, and we'll come make sure it's settled. Well, um, I mean, by the time you get here, it'd be over. I'd, I'd have them down. Okay, break the wrist, walk away. Jeez. Okay, it's just that simple. You'd have them on the ground, huh? Yeah, my money's on that other dude. He could probably eat that lollipop and throw you through the ground at the same time. So, okay. you know, yeah, just, so basically, uh, it was just a passerby. It wasn't someone from the bank, and we've only received one call for service on it. So, okay. I mean, I don't really see you guys presenting, like, an issue with whatever your story is. Right. It's just you, you understand it's probably going to weird people out. Yeah, and, and we want it to weird people out. We want people to start seeing cameras more often okay. so that they don't freak out. You know, our country is getting really bad. I mean, we're divided more... I mean, as much as we were right before the Civil War. No, we're not. You know, we might have a lot of issues where we're divided in America, that's true. But we're not divided on this. We don't want pieces of shit like you throwing our faces and our voices up on the internet just to make a few extra dollars on YouTube. We all agree that you standing in front of a bank filming someone using an ATM, it's morally wrong and it's, it's financially irresponsible just in case somebody actually could see those numbers and use them on the internet to buy things. You have no clue what you're doing, you have no education, and you do not speak for America. Okay. You know, so, and our First Amendment right is being trampled on by our government. 
by okay. the FBI, different things like that. So we want to get out there and expose everybody to the First Amendment. The guy that I talked to out here, he didn't even know the five tenets. Oh, the, do you know so, the five tenets of the First hold Amendment? On, hold on, we're not going to get into it because <laughs> I'm probably going to say something wrong and then it's going to be on camera and you guys probably use that. So I don't want to look like a fool. All right, so, carry this with me okay. everywhere I go. And that's good. So uh, mind if I just get like a first name? I'm not what? asking you for your full name, just that right. way when I type my report, I spoke to John. I'll tell you what, I am known in many circles as WCP. Just put that. Are you some kind of moron? WCP, like William Charles Paul? Well, it's something else. I'll, I'll go ahead and tell you, West Coast Patriot. Okay. On YouTube, check out the channel. Yeah, see, that's why I don't want to like, like share and subscribe. Because <laughs> I might look dumb on YouTube and my mom will probably see it. Okay, well, West Coast Patriot. Well, you want me to tell you what they are? They're pretty easy, and you should learn them. You're a police officer. I'll, you took an oath to it, I'll right? I'll review them. I'll review them. Okay. <laughs> but, uh, so, okay. You want I'll me to give you my report. constitution? Nah, you're, you're okay. <laughs> so, I'll tell you what. I'll just uh, leave it as a suspicious condition. Just type it out that I talked to two individuals from West Coast Patriot uh, doing a story. As long as you guys aren't, like, on the private property bugging and harassing the customers no, we, or putting your cameras well up. you know we don't we don't talk to anybody unless they talk to them. so that's it here the officer gets a good laugh out of them uh he obviously knows what they're doing is nonsense um but he's explaining to them just don't go on their property however he is explaining to them don't get hit by a car because they're in the the road so like how are they allowed just on the road isn't that like a public nuisance you have these two a-holes just standing in the roadway for drivers. Isn't that dangerous? Shouldn't they have to go back to the public easement? So, I don't know. I don't know what town this is. I don't know what state. It looks kind of like Washington State. But that's it for this one. So, these morons get their video, and then they move about their day. Well, as promised before, we do have some bonus footage. I found another frauditor, and it seems as though they are evolving. Good morning. Another beautiful day. Today we are going to Nintendo. We'll see how they behave around a camera, scary camera. I'm sure they have plenty of... Now, I don't know who bought this Frauditor and e-bike. I find e-bikes to be infuriating. Frauditors are so lazy they can't even actually ride a bike anymore. They need this battery-powered nonsense. I don't know who bought it for him because obviously he doesn't have a job. He's got the whole day to just ride around and go to these different offices to inquire about nonsense and film people. But this isn't the most disturbing part. We're gonna fast forward to when he actually starts doing his audit. So he finally makes his way to Nintendo and the frauditor is using his drone. We now, we've evolved in the frauditing game. No more just cell phones, no more their stupid little camera rigs and their fake uh, photos that they're taking. This guy is deploying a drone now. Think about all the creepy stuff that Glenn Serio, Joey Surreal, really all the frauditors, what they could do with this technology. You should be frightened. I know I am. Now, if you know anything about Nintendo, they protect their information very tightly. And they do have rights above their property. Everyone does. In your home, you have air rights above your property. If you don't know that, definitely check it out. But... This guy is going to get confronted soon. He knows what he's doing. It's creepy. It's disturbing. I mean, I, I, I see the place for drones. They're kind of cool. But when you're doing it for this, this is not for uh, sightseeing. This is not for art. This is just to be a dirtbag loser and to get people's attention. Well, I just thought it was important to share this with you. I'm going to be watching him and see where this uh, idiot takes him, his life. Uh, if you have not done so yet, please like and subscribe to the channel. I really do appreciate the help, and leave a comment, and I will see you guys on the next one. I swear to God, I'll pistol whip the next guy that says shenanigans.